Hello everyone and welcome to Fatma Sami's channel. Today's video is for grade 8, semester 1. We're going to do some exercises on unit 1, skills book. Unit 1, exercise number 1. Which unit? Here are the titles for the units. Read them and write the number of the unit the title belongs to. Let's see the answers. Unit 1. More free time. Unit 2. Creature features. Unit 3. Inventors and inventions. Unit 4. Great cities. Exercise number 2. The book hunt. You are going on a book hunt. Read the clues. Find the answers in your books and then write the answers next to the clues. Let's see the answers. Number 1. Who is the inventive Omani girl in Unit 3? Intisar. Number 2. Which is the greatest city for Muslims? Mecca. Number 3. When you want to write, you can look for verbs, nouns, adjectives, and adverbs in this place in your skills book. What is it? The word list. Number four. It's always in the first page in the class book. The contents page. Number five. These people always have something different to say in every unit of the book. What's the name of their group? The club talk. Exercise number three. True or false. The following sentences are about unit one. Look at the first page of the unit in your class book and decide if the sentences are true or false. Then circle the correct answer. Number one. You will read a story about busy Basim and lazy Latifa. True. Number two, the title of this unit is More Free Time. True. Number three, this unit will have activities about great cities. False. Number four, you will learn about adjectives like interesting and excellent. True. Number five, in this unit you will find out how to weigh different things. False. Number six. You will find out about different free time activities. True. Exercise number four. What are you doing to learn? Write three sentences of your own about what you think unit one is about. Use what you know already to help you, but be careful not to copy. The first sentence has been started to help you. Number one. I think I'm going to learn about adjectives. Number two. I think I'm going to learn about different free time activities. I think I'm going to learn about busy passim and lazy Latifa. Exercise number one. ICT Membership Form Complete the form and upgrade your membership to join the ITC. Write your name, your address, your country, your school, your grade, age, telephone number, and email. Then tick the activities you like doing. We have reading, Writing, fishing, horse riding, sewing, making models, roller skating, skateboarding, painting, jogging, cycling, drawing, singing, playing board games. Here, you can add any other activities you like. Exercise number two. Sort the words. Read the questions at the bottom of pages 2 and 3 of your class book and sort the free time activities on the web below. An example has been done for you. 
Add any other you can think of. Let's see the answers. Dangerous activities. Skiing. Karate. Skateboarding. And roller skating. Outdoor activities. Camping. Jogging. Fishing. Arts and craft activities. Drawing. Sewing. Making models. Quiet activities. Collecting postcards and taking photos. Indoor activities. Playing board games. Exercise number one. Read and circle. Read the emails on page four of your class book and circle the correct answer to these questions. Let's see the answers. Number one. Najma's email is to Maryam. Number two. Beth has just won first prize for one of her photos. Number three. Ahmed has collected a hundred postcards from his friends from around the world. Number four. Ahmed has joined the music club at school. Number five. Najma's free time activities include reading, making models, using the computer, and playing games. Number six. Abdul thinks it's expensive using computers at the internet cafe. Exercise number two. Write an email. Write an email to a member of the ITC telling them about the free time activities you like. Before writing, think about the following when you write your email. Number one. Who are you writing to and why? Number two. What are your main ideas? Number three. What examples are you going to include? Number four. How many paragraphs are you going to write? Number five. How are you going to order your paragraphs? Let's see my email as an example. Dear Maha, how are you? I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to you to tell you about my free time activities. In my free time, I like reading books and novels, and my favorite novels are detective novels. Also, I love playing board games with my siblings in the weekend. It's fun. What do you do in your free time? Best wishes, Fatima. Exercise number one. Read and circle. Read these sentences about Basim and Latifa and circle true or false. Go to your class book page 5 and read the story of Basim and Latifa. Now, let's read the questions and see the answers. Number 1. Basim played football in the story. True. Number 2. Latifa watched her favorite sports program. False. Number three. Basim's mother thinks Basim is too lazy. False. Number four. Basim likes to play chess. True. Number five. Latifa's father thinks Latifa is too busy with her friends. False. Exercise number two. Do they have a balanced free time? Write down what Basim and Latifa did, then decide if they are too busy or too lazy. According to the story, the free time activities of Basim are playing football, making models, washing the car, playing chess, cleaning the room, sorting postcards. Basim is too busy.
Now let's move out to Latifa. The free time activity of Latifa is watching TV. Latifa is too lazy. Exercise number three. Order the adjectives. Order these adjectives from positive to negative. Let's see the answers. It's excellent. It's quite interesting. It's all right. It's really boring. It's awful. Exercise number four. Listen and repeat. Listen carefully. It's boring. It's really awful. It's excellent. It's really good. Exercise number one. Listen and circle. Circle the words you hear that match the reading passage. Before listening to the tape, let's read the reading passage. No, collecting things can be a bit too expensive. I prefer playing board games, especially chess and carrom. That's why I joined the game club at school. It's really good because you make new friends. Next year, I think I'll join the music club so I can learn to play the keyboard. It's very difficult, but I want to try. Now, listen carefully and circle the words you hear. Hi, my name is Sandeep. I really like to make use of my free time and enjoy making new friends. A really good way to make friends is to join a club. I belong to the games club at school because I enjoy playing board games like chess and carrom. I'm thinking of joining the music club next year. You see, I think free time activities shouldn't be too expensive. Now, let's see the answers. Too expensive. Playing board games. Chess and carrom. Games club. New friends. Music club. Exercise number two. Look and think. Read what the club talk members had to say and write examples of sentences with to and very in the space provided. Then decide if they do the activity in the sentences you have chosen and which one have a negative meaning. Let's read the examples first. Watching TV can be very interesting. Do they do the activity? Yes. Watching TV all day is too boring. Do they do the activity? No. Now let's see the answers. Number one. Collecting things can be a bit expensive. Do they do the activity? No. Number two. The outdoor life is too exciting. Do they do the activity? No. Number three. They are all very dangerous. Do they do the dangerous activities? Yes. Number four. It's very interesting collecting things. Do they do the activity? Yes. Exercise number three. Read, think, and complete. Language focus. Number one. To and very are placed before the adjective. Number two. Be careful. Very and to do not have the same meaning. Now, look at the sentences you wrote in activity two on this page and complete the following rules using to or very. We use very to make an adjective stronger. We use to when we want to make an adjective stronger and to suggest we don't do something or can't do something. It usually has a negative meaning. 
Exercise number one. Write two or very. Write two or very and the spaces are provided. Let's see the answers. Number one. It's too hot to dance. Let's sit down. Number two. It's very windy today. Let's go and fly a kite. Number three. I won't buy them because they are too expensive for me. Number four. I really like her. She's very kind. Number five. He's a very good cricket player. Number six. It's too quiet. I can't hear it. Exercise number two. Free time survey. Choose four different free time activities and write them in the activity column. Find out which is the favorite activity by asking 10 friends. Put a tick each time one of your friends says yes. Look at the picture and dialogue to help you ask and answer the questions. Let's read the dialogue. Do you like watching TV? Yes, I do. Do you like watching TV? No, I don't. Now I'll give you some examples of a free time activities. Watching TV, collecting postcard, playing the keyboard, drawing. Exercise number one, which intelligence? Read the letters to Aunt Aisha and match each letter to an intelligence. The letters are on page 8 in your class book. Now, let's see the answers. Number 1. Bodily movement. Number 2. Interpersonal. Number 3. Visual. Number 4. Intrapersonal. Exercise number two. Read Aunt Aisha's advice. Listen and think who Aunt Aisha is replying to. Let's read the first one. You obviously have a very strong visual intelligence because you understand things better when you can see and a picture or a diagram. I think you should try doing some art such as drawing painting and make models. You could draw a map or a diagram of your village, make a book or a poster. Don't forget that some videos can also be a really useful and interesting way to spend your free time. This email is to Yahya. Now let's read the second one. You certainly sound full of life and energy. You seem to be a person who likes activities which get you to move and use your body. I'm sure that you will enjoy all kinds of team sports and games such as football and basketball. I know that fishing, jogging, cycling and horse riding will keep you fit. But why don't you try more unusual activities such as roller skating? skateboarding and serving remember to stay safe as well as busy this email is to ahmed now let's move to the third one you understand yourself very well and you appear to like a peaceful activities that you can do by yourself i think that you might enjoy computing making models collecting things or sewing why don't you try one of them I hope you have lots of fun doing your new activity. This email is to Noor. Now, let's read the last one. Well, now you seem enjoy working with people. So I think you will enjoy activities that you do with other people, such as acting or playing board games. Perhaps you should also think about joining the guides because they do lots of interesting group activities. You also wrote that you are good at organizing people. So you could start a club for students in your village or help organize trips for people in your community. I hope this helps. Good luck with your new activity. 
This email is to Sara. Exercise number one. Complete the book review. Complete the book review. Choose your words from the box below. Let's read an answer. I always thought paper folding was really boring. I picked up this book on origami because it had some interesting pictures of paper models on the front cover. First, when I started to read it, I thought it was really difficult because the written instructions were long and difficult to understand. Then I realized that I did not need to understand all the words because the diagrams were fantastic. I made a really good origami frog and a flying bird and I felt very proud and pleased with my models. This book is not boring. It's really interesting and I would recommend it to the ITC. Exercise number two. Sounds. Tick the words that contain the A sound. Let's see the answers. Cake, baby, name, praying. Exercise number three. Say the rhythm. Don't throw the day away. Make a cake or play today, okay? Now, try to say it. Exercise number one. Find the free time facts. Look at activity two on page nine of your class book and write the number of each free time fact in the correct box. Let's see the answers. Number one, kites. Number two, jigsaw. Number three, Pencils, number four, paper clip, number five, drums, number six, orange. Exercise number two, read, match and order. Match the questions and answers, then order the interview. Let's match and order at the same time. Let's start with number four. Why do you collect scorpions? Matches G. I'm a bit of a naturalist. Number six. What was the first scorpion you collected? Matches A. A desert hairy scorpion. Number five. How many species of scorpion are there in the world? Matches B. There are 1,200. Number 2. What is the biggest scorpion in your collection? Matches F. An African Emperor Scorpion. Number 7. Can it kill a person? Matches D. No. Only 20 species are deadly. Number 1. Has a scorpion stung you? Matches C. Yes, usually every week. Number three. What happens? Matches E. Nothing much. Most bites are the same as bee stings. Exercise number one. Listen and number. Listen to Basim deciding what he's going to watch. Match each program he watches with the correct clock time and time of phrase. Listen carefully. Well, let's see. Hmm. I think animals' dinners look interesting. It's on TV at half past three, so I can watch it after school. Then, my friend Ahmed arrives, and he likes a sport. So we can watch sports news at quarter past four before we go and pray. After prayers, I'm going to help dad do some shopping. But I think we will be back home in time to see my favorite cartoon, Blue Kangaroo.
which starts at quarter to six. Then I can watch Science Now at six o'clock before I ring Salem about the football match tomorrow. I can watch anything at half past six because my sister watches her favorite program, so I will do my homework. After my homework, I can watch the news at seven o'clock. There is a nature program about elephants. But I have seen it before and it was really, really boring. So I think I'll watch the news. Ha! Huh. There is a really great film on quarter to eight called The Red Sunset. It finishes at nine o'clock. So I can watch that before I go to bed. Wow, what a brilliant evening. I'll just go check if my plan is okay with mom. Now, let's see the answers. Number one, animal dinners at half past three after school. Number two, the news at seven o'clock after homework. Number three, blue kangaroo at quarter to six after shopping. Number four, the red sunset at quarter to eight before bed. Number five, sports and news at quarter past four before prayers. Number six, science now at six o'clock before phoning Salem. Exercise number two. Listen and complete. Read the interview below and predict the missing words. Then, listen and write the missing words in the spaces. Listen carefully to the interview and try to complete the missing words. Hi, Ahmed. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about Unit 1? No, that's fine. Go ahead. What did you think of the story? It was all right. I think it should be funnier. I really like funny stories. Do you understand how to use to with an adjective? I think so. It makes the adjective negative, doesn't it? Yes, I think so. What about time? There was a lot of new vocabulary in this unit. Did you learn it? Yes, and I've been storing them into verbs, nouns, and adjectives with the help of my dictionary. Did you like the Dear Aunt Aisha page? Yes, it reminded me of the work we did on ways of thinking in a grade 7. What was your favorite part of the unit? I like the fantastic free time facts the best. What didn't you like? Oh, I thought everything was quite easy. I didn't like the writing book review. I find writing difficult, but I'm trying to improve it. Hey, look, I've got to go now. I'm doing my homework before prayers. Okay, thanks a lot, Ahmed. I'll see you in the afternoon for a game of football. Now, check your answers. Number one, questions. Number two, all right. Number three, negative. Number four, nouns. Number five, thinking. Number six, liked. Number seven, quite easy. We reached to the end of our video today. Thank you for listening and watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.